Hi, second grade friends. For math today, we're going to multiply, and I want you to show me how you multiply at home. So today, let's start talking about multiplication. We are going, all multiplication is, is making equal groups. So for example, in this picture, we have one, two, three groups of one, two, three, four. So we have three groups of four. One way that we can write this problem is by using repeated addition. So we have four plus four plus four, which equals 12. An easier way we can write that is using a multiplication problem, which is four times three equals 12. Four circles times three groups of four equals 12. Today, we're gonna look at some of the strategies you can use to make a multiplication problem. You can build it using blocks, any item you have around the house. You can use different objects like erasers, candy, cereal. You can make it using Play-Doh or clay. Or you could draw it using X's, drawing pictures, or just drawing simple circles. So let's try using something around the house. And what I have around my house is Legos. So each of my Legos that I have has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight circles. So this Lego represents one group of eight. Now, if I have three of those Legos, it means I have three groups of eight. Another way, a repeated addition sentence that I could write is eight plus eight plus eight equals 24. So three groups of eight equals 24. I could also write eight times three equals 24. That is building our multiplication problem. You could use different types of Legos. For example, these Legos have only two circles. So if I have one, oops, two, three, four, I have four groups of two, which equals two plus two plus two plus two, which equals eight. Or I could write it two times four equals eight. You could use any type of Lego that you want. You just need to have Legos that are all the same type. So it could be by ones, or it could be by fours as well. Now we're going to make a multiplication using some Play-Doh. So what you can do is I would take my marker and I'm going to make two groups, one, two. And each of my groups is going to have three. So I could take my Play-Doh and make three little balls and put them inside my circle. Now you could use any type of object for this. Just draw circles and put three in each circle. Two. So right here, this problem shows 
two groups of three or two times three, which equals six. All I do is count the objects that I've placed in the groups. Now, if you don't have Play-Doh and if you don't have Legos at home, you could use any snack of your choice. And one snack that I have at my house right now is bubble gum. So I am going to make groups of bubble gum. I have one group, two group, oops, my bubble gum is rolling away. Three groups. So I have one, two, three groups. I have three groups of one, two, three. I have three groups of three pieces of bubble gum. So our multiplication would be three times three equals nine. Okay, so when we multiply, have fun. Use whatever you have around the house to create your very own multiplication problem. Today's activity, you are going to be drawing what you have right now, which is your hands. And the easiest way to do this is to take your hand and a piece of paper, and you are going to trace your hand or get some a parent, a brother or sister to help you. So I'm gonna trace my two hands, okay? Now it's harder with your other hand, but it's okay. It does not have to be perfect. So I'm gonna trace my hands. So how many hands do I have? I have two hands, which is two groups. And you're gonna get to draw anything that you want on your hands. These are your groups. So you're gonna tell me two groups of how many equals your answer. So that's your activity for today. So have fun with it and we will talk to you later soon. Bye.